Are you someone who has a hard time getting a deep squat or has a problem of getting that butt wink at the bottom of your squat? In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to unlock your hips so you can get more mobile and get a deeper squat with better form. So let's get into it. What's up guys, Jade Rainbolt, Doctor of Physical Therapy here. And today I'm going to talk about how to unlock your hips, get more hip mobility to get you a deeper squat. When we go into a squat, our hips go into external rotation. Then actually, as you go deeper, you go into a little bit more of internal rotation than external rotation again. So it's really important that we have that full motion, that rotation motion with our hips to obtain that deep squat that we're going after. Well, the first thing that you wanna do is actually grab a foam roller or a lacrosse ball to roll out your hips. So if you are using a foam roller, you would go ahead and just sit on top. And this is gonna be a little more friendly. So I'm gonna show you a friendly version and also a more aggressive version. And you're gonna go all up in your hips. So there's a rotator deep in there that comes into play and just roll it out like that. If you hit a tender spot, it's like right there, I've got a tender spot. And then you just sit on it for about 30 seconds until it releases. You can even cross your leg over like this and get into it like that as well. And get all through those, those glutes, those hip muscles. So like I said, you can do it with the foam roller or if you want something a little more aggressive, grab a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball and do it like that. So this is a smaller object, so it's gonna be a little bit more aggressive. <sighs> yeah, and <whew. laughs> definitely more aggressive, but it really helps to break up some of that tightness as well as get your fascia moving. And you can even cross your leg and roll over like that. So before squatting, I would do this to just get everything loosened up. Yeah. Okay, so that's step number one, guys. Number two is gonna be 90-90 internal external rotation. So you're gonna sit with your front leg at 90 degrees and then your back leg is gonna be straight out in another 90, so 90-90. And with this, you're going to lean forward because this front leg is going to into external rotation and the back leg is internal rotation. So you wanna make sure you're sitting upright and hinging forward. You don't want to bend and curl forward because it just seems like you're going further, but you're really not stretching the tissue, mobilizing the tissue that you want to. So sitting upright, I would lean forward, hold for about 30 seconds if your goal is to stretch it. Good, and then lean back for the internal rotation leg and use this hand to push yourself upright and you're gonna feel a pull into your hips. So you don't wanna be way over here cause you're not gonna be getting that stretch. And hold that for about 30 seconds. And I would do that two to three times holding and then holding and then swap sides. But then from there, you can even do some more of like dynamic stretching, dynamic movement, where you just kind of rock into the external and the internal. So going from there, again, working on that internal external mobility, we're gonna go into more of a dynamic movement as well. So feet are about the width wide, like a wide squat, and then you're gonna dip your legs down. So we're going internal, external with your hips again, and then the other way. So now we're moving through our range of motion. We're utilizing the motion that we have. Like so. Okay. Going from there, we're gonna go into some quadruped rocking. So this, exercise, your feet are gonna be about the width of a wide squat, okay? We wanna make this core tight. So this mimics the movement of a squat, except we're not putting weight through it. But you notice how my butt isn't curling down like that. We're keeping it nice and neutral spine, tight core, 
rocking back. So this, with this you'll feel some stretching into your adductors, your hamstrings possibly, some glutes. So it's a nice stretch, but it also provides neuro re -ed for the body to educate it on how to keep your body positioned as you're squatting down. So this is especially good if you're someone who has that butt wink. It gets you used to the proper form at the very bottom. But I would just rock into it. You can hold for a couple seconds. Like that. Okay. And then we have one more. The next one is gonna be a Kosak lunge. So what you're gonna do is find something that is an elevated surface. So I just have a box here, but you can use um, a step, you can use a bench, anything to get your leg elevated. But what you're gonna do is bring that back leg back because this, is gonna, this back leg is gonna prevent you from tucking your hips if you're having problems with that butt wink at the bottom. And you're going to keep that front leg the heel down, and you're not gonna go directly into it, you're gonna kinda angle out and go into that deep flexion. So again, this is mimicking a squat, and this back leg is preventing you from getting that butt wink. But it stretches all through the hip as well as into the ankle. And again, it's more of like a stretch, light stretch. Like that. But again, we wanna keep that heel down. Good, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like. See you in the next one.